Hey there everyone, my name is Luke and welcome to my channel and I've got a really special video for you today. I'm hoping that tonight is the night when I finally get to make first light, not just with the brand new camera that I've had very kindly sent to me by Player One, the Uranus C, but also first light for this entire thing. The whole reason I've been going through this whole build really, the observatory itself. As you can probably imagine, choosing the right target for an occasion like this wasn't really the easiest thing to do. However, something did kind of stick out to me as the right thing that I should be shooting, and that is one of my all-time favorite targets. It's well-placed all night, and it's actually the channel profile picture for my YouTube channel as well. It's M57, the Ring Nebula, and it really is a wonderful little target, and I think it'll make a great fit for this first light session. Now, there is another reason I chose M57 over all the other multitudes of targets, and that is down to the fact that I may soon be dismounting the 250 PDS, the telescope I'm gonna be using tonight, in favor of a much shorter focal length instrument, and that's because just very recently I had the chance to buy a really special telescope from a really special friend as it happens my friend Bill Blanchon from over in Texas um, I'll put a link down to his channel in the description down below it's called another astro channel but anyway he's a great friend and uh, when he found out that I was looking for a new telescope he offered me something I really couldn't turn down so I am going to be the proud owner soon hopefully of a Celestron Rasa 8 and I'm really looking forward to that well, it's dark enough now that I can probably roll off the roof and let any residual heat escape from this room. That should only just take a few moments. Everything else should be as close to ambient as is possible as this room is completely unheated. Um, but before I do that, I just want to quickly take you through what I'm going to be using for tonight's session. So as you can see, I've got the 250 PDS, the f4.7 1200mm focal length Newtonian reflector. And the camera I'm using, as I mentioned, is going to be the brand new Player One Uranus C with those fantastic small pixels. I think without even using a barlow tonight, I'm going to get a pretty good sampling rate on this target, M57, and hopefully get my best image of it yet. That's what I'm really looking for from this. Alright then guys, so I'm now inside uh, in the observatory warm room itself and I'm getting ready for a session of imaging. Um, all I've done at this point uh, it's basically just swapped out this filter I don't know if you can see that on the camera there but that is the Optolong L Extreme that's now inside the case and I've gone for a simple UV IR cutting filter for tonight's imaging session I want to keep it as simple as is possible and uh, kind of before I add any complexity whatsoever to my uh, workflow for this camera I just want to see what it can do without any calibration or anything like that no flats bias darks basically tonight my idea is to just stack up some lights and uh, see how it goes see what we get from it because I think it's quite a uh, clean sensor all things considered and uh, I think it's gonna work quite well so to combat any kind of raining noise um, pattern noise things like that from stacking up too bad I will be live stacking tonight and commanding sharp cap to uh, perform regular dithers throughout the session and it will also be saving out uh, into sub stacks so even though I'm going to be using maybe I don't know off the top of my head maybe 20 second exposures or something to capture this target I'll stack maybe 20 minutes of those at a time save that out as a, a sub frame uh, if you will as a, like a super sub frame of stacked exposures uh, and then I can use all those later on down the line and maybe even perform a drizzle integration or something of the like if I wish to try and pull even more resolution out of the data if the data is going to support it. Um, the scene tonight is, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure it's perfect but it maybe it'll clear up a little bit. So basically before I can actually get to imaging now uh, I am going to quickly run through the SharpCap Pro's polar alignment procedure and uh, basically the good thing about this is I can kind of peek through the observatory door just behind me there watch the screen uh, that I'm using here because I've got like a 32 inch monitor that I'm viewing everything on which is uh, it feels like really luxury astronomy at this point uh, not that I'm complaining I really am loving it but yeah that's the plan right now anyway so I'm gonna go ahead double check the polar alignment and uh, basically get started on this session Well guys, as you can see, we're part of the way through the second stack that it's making now. In the end, I did change my mind slightly and settle upon 10 minute uh, reset times for these uh, 
live stacked segments and I have to say uh, just looking at this 100% zoom uh, it's working really well there's a lot of detail popping out on this target even on a really unexceptional night um, <laughs> I think this is just about one of the worst that I've seen in a while uh, the stars when you actually look at them visually are really kind of dancing and scintillating uh, all over the place but still pulling something out of this as you can see uh, there's really clean separation between the outer kind of rim of the ring nebula and the inner uh, more oxygen rich portions and that's really cool to see on a live stack thing like this I guess what I'm doing tonight is kind of a hybrid between uh, just EAA and astrophotography really but I have to say it's working well uh, it's keeping my interest high and um, I don't know it just feels like having some fun on this first session first light for this observatory is the right thing to do uh it's very rarely the wrong thing to do <laughs> i would put it that way but yeah what a target and uh what a relaxing session this is setting up to be i think as long as those clouds stay well clear uh, i'm just going to basically keep rinsing and repeating this i'll just keep an eye on the uh, full width half max filter and if this starts drifting up that'll indicate that I've begun to lose focus so I'll pause the stacks go and refocus just using uh, Vega like I did the last time there and I think largely that's the plan for the rest of the night so it's a really simple one and um, I don't know I hope it goes well Well guys, I'm happy to say that this night is going off without a single hitch and that's always a good session when you can honestly and truthfully say that. Um, we're just about to finish, well, we're just getting started in really, in the 11th uh, 10 minute stack of the night, as I mentioned earlier on. I'll be stacking up these 20 second exposures for as long as I really can tonight until either clouds stop me or dawn starts to break and the sky begins brightening again. Um, I think we have our actually already passed uh, past the point of peak darkness for tonight as I've noticed these kind of black levels on uh, sharp gap here using the Instagram view they were kind of progressing downwards towards the left indicating a darker and darker background sky and now they've just kind of bottomed out and started to creep back towards the right again so uh, interesting to note that if you're paying attention you can kind of keep an eye on things like that and um, normally I'm kind of a little bit frazzled by this point in the night knowing that you know I'm gonna to have to carry everything back inside at the end of it but that is no more now I've got this observatory <laughs> which is a really nice feeling um, just knowing I'll be able to kind of go out there at any point roll the roof back over and I'm done that's uh, that's just fantastic and I think uh, I'm, it's gonna take a long time for me to kind of get used to that feeling uh, it's a real privilege having an observatory even if it's been an awful lot of work making it it really has so genuinely hats off to anybody who's already gone through the trouble of uh, making something like this it ain't easy uh, and it takes a lot of time effort money <laughs> and head scratching in my case solving all the issues um, but yeah well worth it well worth it in the end and I'm very lucky to have this thing um, in terms of the camera at least the uh, player one Uranus C I'm really impressed I have to say it's uh, looking like it's a fantastic sensor now I've had the chance finally to actually test it out in anger yeah, under some actual clear skies for once um, yeah I'm really impressed it looks like I'm getting good sensitivity uh, nice low levels of noise and such uh, it looks like the lack of cooling with it being just a passively cooled camera isn't really causing any issues I know it's not very hot here it's um, when well, yeah, the camera trip is running at 11.3 degrees and it looks like my focus is reporting ambient as 7.8 ish degrees so it's only running a couple degrees above ambient uh, I have to say it's not really making seemingly much thermal signal whatsoever I'm not really seeing any uh, major mocklin or anything in the background nice stacked up a few frames um, as I've said anyway the night's progressing beautifully really uh, it's differing every five frames so in my case 100 seconds so really rather a frequent dither pattern uh, but that leads to little bits of drift on the uh, 
on the livestock. As you can see, if I just put the kind of crosshair on there, the M57 ring nebula has drifted up in the field of view in this case. So every now and again, I've just been keeping an eye on it. I've only had to do it uh, once, maybe twice, if you include when I refocused. Kind of a re-centering of the target and uh, that loses you just such a tiny proportion of time throughout the night it's not even worth calculating i don't think but yeah i think on the whole uh, i know i'm talking your ears off but i'm just enjoying this it's really nice to be able to uh, be sat down in comfort and warmth i can't believe i'm sat here in my shirt in this lovely warm room doing some imaging it's uh, such a nice feeling Well guys, it's about 20 past 3 in the morning, I just wanted to come outside and uh, share this really beautiful dawn with you guys. Uh, as I say, thanks very much for watching this video. I hope that you've enjoyed this first ever session in the observatory with me. I know that I've enjoyed it and I hope that that comes across well on the video as I'm sharing it with you guys. And um, it's not just the observatory that's been fun to use tonight, but also that new camera that I'm testing, the uh, Player One Uranus C. That's been great and I'm really looking forward to using it a whole lot more as time goes on, on uh, certainly on different scopes, hopefully on this Rasa when it gets here. I'm uh, hugely excited to share that one with all of you guys. So anyway, without keeping you much longer, uh, I just want to come out and say thank you very much indeed for watching. I really, really do appreciate all that you do, all the support that you give, the comments you leave, thumbs up on the videos, all that stuff hugely helps me keep doing this thing that i love doing so genuinely thank you and uh i think with that anyway that's just about everything that i've got for you tonight so uh everything that's needed to be said has been said so uh thanks for watching and clear skies